The third and final type of fixture control effect is the level control effect. For this, we're going to keep the same project but create a new timeline by selecting File, New, Timeline. This time, instead of dragging an entire fixture into the control track, we're just going to drop in a single channel from the fixture. You do it like this. I'm also going to go into the Lamp Preview Select Channels window. By right-clicking on the Lamp Preview window and clicking Select Channels, I will deselect all the other channels and just select this one. Now, find the level control effect at the bottom of the Fixture Effects folder and drag it into the control track and expand the track. In fact, let's make the track larger so it will be easier to see. Zoom in and make the level control clip about 5 seconds long. This line controls the level of the channel. Let's call this line an envelope. At either end of the line are boxes called handles. Now, click on the handle on the right to select it. Then click it again and drag it up to the top. Notice that as you drag it up, this little box tells you what level the handle is currently at. All fixture channel levels in Venue Magic go from 0 to 100%. On the left side is another handle that can be moved in the same way. As you can see, we've created a lamp fader that starts at 50% and goes up to 100% intensity. Now, let's drop on another level control right next to it. Notice that the new clip doesn't have an envelope handle on the left side. This is because this level control clip will pick up where the previous one left off. After a while, we're going to get tired of making faders and we'll want to do something more interesting. Right-click somewhere in the middle of the envelope line and select Add Envelope Handle. Then click on a channel. In this example, we have only one to choose from. Another handle appears that you can move around wherever you like. I'll add a few more. Notice how every handle is connected by a straight line. It doesn't have to be this way. Left-click on a point to select it, then right-click on the same handle, select Set Curve Type, then select Step, Linear, or Spline. This changes how the handle is connected to the handle before it. Now, Open the Level Control Properties window by right-clicking on the clip and selecting Properties. Make sure the General tab is selected. Notice that the Scale Envelopes on Resize box is checked. This means that when I resize the level control, all of the envelope handles stretch out with it. This is a nice feature if you want to scale a sequence of lighting commands across a certain period of time. If I go back and disable the checkbox, you can see that resizing the level control does not redistribute the handles and they remain where they are. Except for the endpoint handle on the right, which will always stay at the end of the clip. Be careful when you shrink an unscaled level control because the handles that you shrink past will disappear permanently. If you do this accidentally, just select Edit, Undo, and the level control will be restored to its former state. Click play and see how our level control works. If you need to make a change, just select and drag the handles to where you want them. You've probably noticed that this approach to adding and editing handles in a level control is pretty cumbersome and not very precise. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the envelope editor, which makes programming a level control effect a lot easier.